Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Voy a estar pendiente, escuchando. Ok. Vamos a esperar unos minutos mientras vienen los demás compañeros. Ok, teacher. Good.
Ok, hello everybody, welcome to the class. Bienvenidos a esta penúltima clase de este módulo, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a estar iniciando en este momento. Pues esperamos también que los demás que no se han podido conectar, se puedan conectar. Vamos a iniciar con la plataforma. Acá está ya la pregunta de esta noche. Entonces, hay que tener en cuenta que hay que hacer la pregunta. Para ahora es un poco diferente. Hoy, o... Oh, el, el viernes, bueno, ahora viernes, el sábado, el domingo, antes de la clase de lunes, antes, o sea, este fin de semana, hay que terminar la tarea 19, que son como siempre cinco preguntitas, ¿verdad? Ahí están las preguntitas, cinco. Pero también hay que terminar la tarea 20, que también son cinco preguntitas. Ahí está lo que hay que hacer. Cinco, le damos submit. Pero cuando terminemos la tarea 19 y la 20, le damos next aquí y vamos a hacer el examen final. O sea, antes del lunes, bueno, antes de la clase de lunes, tenemos que haber terminado el examen final. Y recuérdense que el examen final tiene cuatro partes, ¿verdad? Esta primera parte que es de cinco preguntitas también, muy fácil. Ahí están las cinco preguntitas. Y luego aquí arriba. Después de la parte 1 tenemos la parte número 2. Y también son cinco preguntitas. Five questions. Hay que terminar las five questions. Y después está la parte número 3. Ok. Aquí están cinco otras preguntitas que tenemos que terminar. Y por último, ya para, para finalizar, sería la parte número 4 del examen final. Parte número 4. Acá. Entonces, para el lunes, antes de la clase, se tiene que haber terminado todas las tareas y el examen final. ¿Ok? ¿Hay alguna pregunta o duda con esto? No, teacher. Todo claro, ¿verdad? Ok, so that is very important, my friends. Recordemos que uno de los requisitos es terminar la plataforma. Y el lunes después de la medianoche ya no hay acceso a la plataforma. Entonces, si, si por alguna cosa, por alguna razón del destino usted no lo hace y no llega al 80, ya no le da la beca. Entonces, antes de la clase de lunes, please, my friends. Ahora sí vamos a pasar lista. Here we go. Arabella Parada Gámez. Yo me acuerdo que la vi. Ahí levanta la mano. Uh, Carlos Jaime Pinto Tobar. Present. Good. Daniel Freddy Sarabia Campos. Present. Good. Daniela Elizabeth Ardón de Rodríguez. Present. Good. Danilo Ernesto Rodríguez Fernández. <coughs> Nunca lo conocemos. Doris Raquel Hernández González. Present. Good. Elsie Noemí Alemán Gómez. Present, teacher. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Juárez. Present, teacher. Good. Irving Alexander Díaz Rivera. Present. Good. Irving Osmín Rodríguez Jurado. Good. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Present teacher. Good. Karen Michelle Ayala Ayala. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Metzi Damaris Molina Guevara. Oscar Antonio Alvarado Martínez. Present. Good. Rafael Vladimir Romero Mancía. Present. Good. Santos Maribel Aquino Iraeta. Present. Good. Ulises Edgardo Jacobo Villanueva. Present, teacher. Good. Verónica Susana Romero Lebrón. Present, teacher. Good. Jessica Marisol Villalta Palacios. Present teacher. Ok. Ok. 
Ok, my friends, vamos a iniciar entonces. Ahora sí, el último tema. Hoy vamos a ver el último tema. Tema así como que gramatical, ¿verdad? Ya la otra semana sería simplemente para practicar. El lunes vamos a hacer la encuesta de este facción. Creo que ahora sí ya se las mandaron, ¿verdad? Sí, a mí me cayó. Sí. sí. Entonces, recordemos que no hay que hacer la verdad. Pueden ver la información, pueden ver el link, pueden ver el video. Solo no llenarla y enviarla. El lunes, el lunes, todavía no me han dicho a qué hora la vamos a llenar, pero en el transcurso de la, de la clase vamos a llenar la encuesta. Entonces, es bien importante que tengan a la mano la información, porque hay que copiar y pegar idéntico idéntico, es decir si usted tiene tres nombres y dos apellidos y así está inscrita en el módulo de Insafor, así hay que ponerle eh, igual el código del, el código del grupo eh, muchas cosas, entonces es bien delicado, hay que tener cuidado con eso, eh, y tenga a la mano, yo le recomiendo si es mejor una computadora, ¿verdad? copiar y pegar pero si no tienen computadora y lo hacen en el teléfono, porque yo me imagino que les cayó el WhatsApp, eh, ustedes pueden copiar el mensaje de WhatsApp en un blog de notas para ustedes ya, ya poder ir a sombrear, a seleccionar lo que van a copiar y pegar a la hora de, de la encuesta. Recordándoles a todos también que hay que terminar las tareas, todas las tareas que nos hacen falta. Y el examen final, antes de la clase del lunes, Please, 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 please. So we are going to start the class of today. Let me check. Here we are. Okay. Ahora vamos a ver los últimos modals. Modals, verbs, permission. Bueno, hice review porque ya medio vimos un par de cosas. Entonces, vamos a repetir hacia abajo. Everybody, please. Asking for permission. Teacher, yo tengo una pregunta. Pregúntame. Dice de que Mega va a meter a la plataforma en la clase 20. Es la de lunes, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero este, el comentario en ese caso. Ah, no, el comentario sí lo voy a poner ese día, va a ser lo único. Lo único que va a quedar pendiente, el comentario de esa de clase. Ahí, de ahí la, lo, el, el examen y lo, las otras preguntas, sí las podemos hacer ahora. Sí, la pueden hacer hoy, mañana, el domingo, aunque el domingo, pues mejor hoy y mañana, ¿verdad? Para descansar el domingo. Pero si no pueden, no tienen tiempo, el domingo todavía se puede. Todavía el lunes en el día, solo que yo pensaría que es mejor el fin de semana, que estamos más relax, ¿verdad? Porque el lunes en medio del trabajo, ya hacer varias cosas, ya se nos puede complicar. Entonces, sí, antes de la clase del lunes, ahí tiene que estar terminado todas las tareas y el examen final. Todo el comentario, ¿no, verdad? Solo ese no, porque ese en la clase yo lo pongo. Un poco, un poco antes de iniciar la clase lo estoy poniendo. Entonces, okay. sería el único. De ahí todo lo demás queda. Ajá, ok. Pero... Gracias, teacher. George, welcome. ¿Alguna otra pregunta? Ah, el perrito dice que tiene una. Ok. Vamos entonces a repetir, everybody. También el perrito. Asking for permission. Asking for permission. May. May I ask a question? May I ask a question? Could I sit here? Could I sit here? Can I sit here? Can I use your pencil? Can I use your pencil? Given permission. Even you may borrow my car if you are careful. You may borrow, you may borrow my car if you are careful. You can borrow this shirt. You, you can, can borrow, borrow this shirt. Saying someone has permission. Saying someone has permission. Has permission. Students may borrow books for 14 days. Student may borrow books for 14 days. Students can use the computers at any time. Students can use the computers at any time. 
Very good, perfect. Entonces aquí tenemos un nuevo modal que es el que ya medio vimos ayer, ¿verdad? May. May que es algo como poder, también puedo yo, ¿ok? Pero si ustedes se fijan ahí en el gráfico, May es más formal, es lo más formal que existe, ¿verdad? May es muy, muy formal. Entonces podemos usar en el primero, cuando pedimos permiso, podemos usar May, could or can. May es el más formal. Luego está cool, que es formal, pero no tanto como may. Y luego está ken, que es informal. ¿Ok? So, esa es la única diferencia. Ahora, los modals igual, ¿verdad? Pueden ir, van en la misma posición, no hay regla de tercera persona, van con un verbo, todo es igual. Lo único que cambia es la manera en la que lo usamos. Hay un modal más que, más que lo vamos a ver solo en el video que, que vamos a ver a continuación, pero... Por ahorita estos son los models. Y luego tenemos el de given permission. Ahí solo hay may y can. Uh, veamos lo que dicen. Las primeras creo que no hay preguntas. Pero en if you may borrow my car if you are careful. ¿Qué dice ahí? Te puedo prestar el carro si tienes cuidado. Very good. Entonces ahí yo estoy dando permiso. You may. You may do it. Formal, ¿verdad? Muy formal. Y el otro Ken dice, you can borrow these shirts. ¿Qué dice ahí? Puedes prestar esta camisa. Uh, esta camisa. Puedes tomar prestada esta camisa. Very good. Esto es como muy informal. Esa es la única diferencia. En el otro es saying someone has permission. También lo podemos usar para decir que alguien tiene permiso de hacer algo. O sea, no solo para pedir permiso y para dar permiso, sino para decir esta persona tiene permiso de hacer algo. Por ejemplo, students may borrow books for 14 days. ¿Qué dice ahí? Los estudiantes pueden prestar los libros por 14 días. 14 días. Y si no hay que pagar multa, ¿verdad? En can, informal, ¿verdad? Students can use the computers at any time. ¿Qué dice ahí? Los estudiantes pueden usar la computadora en cualquier tiempo. En cualquier momento. Very good. Entonces, may, muy formal. Cool es como formal, pero no tanto como may. Can, totalmente informal. So, do you have any question? <laughs> No question. Oh, very good. Let's practice then. Vamos a practicar. So let's see. Uh, can and can't. Los que tienen chequecito, affirmative. Los que tienen crucita, es negative. So the first one, how's it going to be? Yes, she can dance. Sería, I can dance. Sería el primero What? el que está a la izquierda. Mm -hmm. Si lo miran, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Este. Ah. Uh, ok. Ya lo vi. Ok. So, I can dance. That mm -hmm. is affirmative. Next one, how's it going to be? I you can, can play, play football. Play football. You can play football. Play Very football. good. The next one. She can. She can ride a bike. She can ride a bike. Very good. The next one. He can't play, play the guitar. He can't play the guitar. Very good. He can. The next he, one. It can flip. It can, can fly. It can fly. Very good. You can fly. Yeah. The next one. You can, you can sing. sing. You can sing. Very good. Porque cantamos, pero entiendo cómo escuchar una canción. The next one. They can't run. They can't run. Very good. The next one. My father can't cook. My father can't cook. Very good. And the last one. Sue can skate. Sue can skate. Very good. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to check the other ones. Okay. So. La respuesta, ¿cómo sería? Can she dance? Yes, she can. 
Yes, she, she can. can. Very easy, right? Can he ski? Yes, she. I don't. I don't see the the picture. Ah, okay. Uh, no, he can't. No, he can't. Porque está aquí en el lado de la crucita. Uh, can he swim? No, he can't. No, he can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can sing. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Can you read? Yes, yes. I can. Can. Yes, I can. Can she play chess? Yes. No. What mean chess? Chess is ajedrez. No, she Oh, okay. no, she no, she can't. Very good. Uh, can he run? Yes. Yeah, he can. Yes, he can. Can you write? Yes, yes I can. Yes. yes, I can. Y la última, can you climb trees? No, I can't. No, no okay. okay. Uh, climb trees, ¿qué es eso? Good, escalar árboles. Está muy fácil, ¿verdad? Let's check the other one. Okay, a little practice here in Ken and Kent. Ken and Cool, okay. Es una, un pequeño reading de Ken and Cool. Okay. Vamos a repetir, everybody. Alcanzan a ver si, sí, ¿verdad? No, teacher. No, okay. Okay, ni con los binoculares, vaya. Yes, I can. Okay. Oh, yeah. Now let's repeat, everybody. My yeah. name is Samira Brown. My, My name, name is Samira Brown. 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 I am Brown. seventy. I am seventy. I am an old thing woman. I am an old thing woman. When I was young. When I was young. I could do many things. I could do many things. I could run. I could run. I could jump. I could jump. I could practice gym and play tennis. I could practice gym and play tennis. Now I can't do all that because I am very old. No, I can't. I'm very old. I'm very old. But I can read books. I can read books. Visit many places. Visit many places. And watch interesting programs. And watch interesting programs. On TV, and I am very happy. I went to the theater with some friends. I went to the theater with some friends. Some friends. With some friends. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. Yo pensaría que no hay ninguna pregunta. Creo que todas las palabras conocemos, pero les pregunto. Will I have a question? Will I ask a question? Teacher? Of course, of course. No, may I, may I? Okay. Uh, es uh, practice es British. La It's escritura. British. Por, sí, por eso es con S. Ajá. En inglés americano es con C y en inglés británico es con S. Y el program. Um, así se escribe siempre. Ese el es plural. Bien. Así se escribe, ese sí. Eh, solo que quizá en inglés americano no dicen programas, sino que dicen show, TV shows. No, no, es que me parecía que, es, que alguna vez lo había escuchado como solo con ese, program. Ah, ese es programa de computadora. Ah, oh, ya. Yeah. Ok. Pero, y ese solo va con programas. Uh, con, sin la E al final. Ok, good. Any other question? Creo que no hay mucho, ¿verdad? Igual lo vamos a leer, pero antes de leer, let me ask you questions. What activities she can do in the past? Throw. 
run, run jump, 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 play tennis, play tennis. Okay. And what activities can she do now? Okay, I'm going to read books. Read books. Interesting program on TV and only. Only, very good, perfect. Se dan cuenta cómo es importante saber cómo se usa algo. Con cool y can, ya sabemos. Sure. Ajá. Hello. Hola, teacher. Dígame, dígame. Una pregunta, eh, pero ahí si yo hacerlo completo en español, cuando estaba preguntando qué hacían antes, era she was cool, Jim. Le podríamos haber dicho what she could do in the past. What she could, oh, what okay. she could do in the past. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. Okay, very good. Now, any other question? Ok, vamos a leer, está fácil, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a leer todos. Maribel quiere ser la primera, ya me había dicho. Vamos. My name is Samira Brown. I am 70. I am... Ya lo veo. I am old thing woman. When I was young... I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. Now I can do all that because I am very old, but I can read books, visit many places and watch interesting programs on TV. And I am very happy. Last weekend, I went to the theater, no sé cómo se pronuncia. No. Theater. Theater, with some friends. It was fantastic. Very good, perfect. Now, Freddy Sarabia. Okay. My name is Samira Brown. I am 70. I am old, thing warm. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. No, I can't do all the, that because I I am very old. I but can read books, visit many places and watch interesting programs. Interesting, interesting programs on TV. I am very happy. Last weekend end, I went to the tour with some friends. I was fantastic. It was fantastic. It Good. was fantastic. Now, Arabella. Okay. Um, my name is Samira Brown. I'm, I am 70. I am, I am an old thing woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. Now I can do all that because I am very old, but I can read books visit many places and watch interesting programs on TV. And I am very happy. Last week and I went to the theater with some friends. It was fantastic. Very good, perfect. Now, Ulises. Hello, Ulises. Creo que va manejando. Verónica. Okay, teacher. My name is Samira Brown. I am 70. 
I am an old thing woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. No, I can't do all that because I am very old. But I can read books, visit many places and watch interesting programs on TV and I am very happy. Last weekend, I went to the theater, theater. theater with some friends. It was fantastic. Very good. Now, Rachel. My name is Sandra Brown. I am 17. I am an old teen woman. When I was young, I called do many things. I called run, I called jump, I called practice at gym and play tennis. Now I can do all this because I am very old, but I can read books, visit many places and watch interesting programs on TV, and I am very happy. Last weekend, I went to the theater with some friends. It was, fun. it was fantastic. Very good, perfect. Now, Elsie Noemi. Okay, teacher. My name is Samari Brown. Samira Brown. I am Samari Brown. I am seeking. I am on um, all things not woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. Now I can't do all that because I am very old, but I can read books, visit many places, and watch interesting programs on TV. And I am very happy. Last weekend, I went to the theater with some friends. It was Fantastic. Very good, perfect. Now, Jessica Marisol. And my name is uh, Mary Brown. I am 17. No, what? 17. <laughs> 17. I am an old woman. When it was young, I called the money time. I could run, I could jump. <laughs> I could practice setting and play tennis. No, I can do. I tie the cause. I am very old. Book. I come read book. Read book. Visit, read book. Visit many place and watch interesting program on TV and I am very happy. Last week I went to the theater with some friends. It was fantastic. Okay, thank you. Uh, Juan Lopez is the next. My name is Sarami Brown. I am seven, 17. I am an old teen woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. Now I can do all that because I am very old. But I can read books, visit many, many places, and watch interesting programs. Want to be, and I am very happy. Last week, weekend, 
I went to the theater. Why some friend? It was fantastic. Okay, good. Now, Daniela. My name is Samira Brown. I am 70. I am an old thin woman. When I was young, I called to many things. I called wrong, I called jump. I called practice gym and play tennis. Now I can't do all that because I am very old, but I can read books, visit many places, and watch interest, interesting programs on TV. And I am very happy. Last week, I went to theater with my son friends. It's one fantastic. Okay, very good. Guadalupe. Hello, Guadalupe. Ok, creo que no está. Mario Alfredo. Ok, my name is Samira Brown. I'm 70. I am an old teen woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. Now, now I can do all that because I'm very old, but I can read books, visit many places, and watch interesting programs on TV, and I'm very happy. Last weekend, I went to the theater with some free friends. It was fantastic. Okay, very good. Now, Oscar Alvarado. My name is Samara Brown. I am uh, 70. Seven, 70. I am an um, all-seeing woman. When I am was young, I call the money thing. I call room. I call gym. I call practice gym and play tennis. No, I can't do all that because I am very old, but uh, can read books, visit money, um, less, and watch interesting programming on TV. And I am very happy last week and I went to the theater with some friends it was fast, fantastic. Okay, good, perfect. Now, Irving Alexander. My name is Samira Brown. I am 70. I am an old dating woman. When it was June, I called the many things. I called room, I called June, I called practice. Gym and play tennis. No, I can do all that because I am very old, but I can read books, visit in many places, and watch interesting programs, programs on TV. And I am very happy. Last weekend, I went to that zero with some friends. It, it works fantastic. Very good, perfect. Now, Rafael. Okay. My name is Samira Brown. I am 70. I am an old woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. No, I can do a the because I am very old, but I can read read book, visit many places, and watch interesting programs on TV. And I am very happy. Last week weekend I went to the theater 
with some friends. It was fantastic. Very good, perfect. Now, let's see. My name is Samira Brown. I am 17. I am, I'm an old teen woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could yeah, practice yeah. gym and play tennis. Now I can do all that because I am very old, but I can read books, visit many places and watch interesting programs on TV. And I am very happy. Last weekend, I went to the theater with some friends. It was fantastic. Perfect, thank you. Now, Carlos Pinto. Okay. My name is Samira Brown. I am 17. I am an old thin woman. When I was young, I, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. Now I can do all that's because I am very old, but I can read books, visit many places, and watch interesting programs on TV. And I am very happy. Last weekend, I went to the theater with some friends. It was fantastic. Okay, very good, thank you. Now, Karen Michelle. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. My name is Samira Brown. I am 17. I am an old woman. When I was young, I could do many things. I could run, I could jump, I could practice gym and play tennis. Now I can do you all that because I am very old, but, but I can read books, visit many places and watch interesting programs on TV. Um, I am very happy last week and I went to the street, treaty, theater. theater with some friends. It was fantastic. Very good. Perfect. Now, Irving Rodriguez. Hello, Irving. Ok. Creo que no nos falta más nadie. ¿verdad? Ok, eh, solo un par de cosas. Un par de cosas. En la pronunciación. Um, let me see. I could run. Ese es run, no es run. Ok. El sonido de la U tiene diferentes sonidos en inglés. A veces sí es como U, como university, ¿verdad? Bueno, ese es como U. Umbrella, ese es A. Uh. Aquí es I could run, run. Parecido a la A, pero tampoco es A. I could jump, oiga, jump. Ese es diferente, igual que run. Run, jump. No es lo mismo. A ver, ¿qué otra? Um, el número. Muchos me dijeron 17. Ahí me estaba diciendo yo tengo 17. 70 is not the same than 17. Ok, 17, 17. 70, 70. Eso es bien delicado. Um, watch. Recordemos que watch lleva una T. Y es con sonido de CH. No es lo mismo watch que watch. That is very important. Interesting. It's not interesting. Eso es español. En inglés es interesting. Ok. Uh, programs. Eh, what else? Places. Eso se dice con la E del plural. Places, no place. Places solo uno. Places. Uh, let's see. Theater. Esa sí sé que cuesta un poquito, ¿verdad? Theater. Y si se fijan también está escrita como inglés británico. La otra va primero la E y después la R al final. Theater. Se dice igual. Uh, creo que lo demás está bien. But be careful about the pronunciation. ¿Ok? Any question about this?
Ok, entonces vamos a, a ver un pequeño video. Y luego vamos a pasar lista. Pero vamos a ponerle... Vamos a transmitir de una manera que se pueda. Hold on a second. Ok. Bueno, en este video vamos a ver un modal más que no está en el programa, pero yo creo que es importante verlo. Es un modal que se llama Shield. And here we go. Le voy a abrir un momentito para que ustedes me digan si sí, la escuchan y ven. In this American English. Sí, se escucha, se ve. Yes, teacher. Ok, very good. So now. Vea que vamos a hablar de should, would, and could. Here we go. Pongamos atención y me dicen qué entendieron. Recordemos que esa es la dinámica con los videos. Y pues igual yo les explico después should. English pronunciation video. We're going to would and could. These words all rhyme. The pronunci... So they all have their beginning consonant, the uh as in book, vowel, and the d sound should, would, could. They rhyme with good, hood, and would. Yes, would and would are pronounced the same. They're homophones. So this is the pronunciation of these words in full. But as you know, Americans like to reduce less important words in a sentence to make the important words stand out more. And these are three words that can be reduced. As with many reductions, we change the vowel to the schwa and speed up the word. Should, should, would, would, could, could. You'll hear Americans go even further though and drop the D. I noticed I did this when I was doing a Ben Franklin exercise on some of my own speech. Should we get dinner? Yeah. Should we get dinner? One of the things I noticed is I'm dropping the D sound. Should we, should we? Sh, sh. Just the sh sound and the schwa. The lips are flared and the teeth are together. Shh. The tongue tip is pointing up to the roof of the mouth, but it's not touching it. Sh, sh, sh. Then for the schwa, everything relaxes and you go into the next sound. Sh, sh. Should we? Should we call her? Should we? Should we? I should go, should go, should go, I should go. Now, if the next sound is a vowel or a diphthong, I wouldn't drop the D. It would be too unclear to go from the schwa into another vowel. So for should I, should I. For example, I make a really quick flap of the tongue for the D. Should I, should I. Should I say that? Should I try it? Should I call him? If dropping the D feels like too extreme of a reduction for you, you certainly don't have to do it. Just keep should unstressed really quick. Should, should, should. Now let's look at could. The K sound is made when the back part of the tongue comes up and touches the soft palate in the back. K, 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 k. Could we try later? Could we, could we? Again, just dropping the D. K sound, schwa, Next word, could we, could we? Saying it with a D when the next word begins with a vowel or diphthong. Could I, could I come back later? Could I, could I? So just a nice short could. Finally, would. For the W sound, the lips are in a tight circle and the back part of the tongue lifts. Will we want to do that? Will we, will we? Will we want to do that? Or, with a really quick D sound, where would I go? Would I? Would I? Would I? So you can reduce these words by changing the vowel to the schwa. You can reduce them further by dropping the D unless the next sound is a vowel or a diphthong. If there's a word or phrase you'd like help pronouncing, please put it in the comments below. Don't forget to sign up for my mailing list by clicking here or in the description below to keep up with all my latest videos. It's free.
That's it, and thanks so much for using Rachel's English. Bueno, ahí está bien clara la pronunciación. Hoy sí, ¿verdad? Está bien claro. Esto es fonética. Nosotros no enseñamos fonética porque aprendemos a hablar inglés. Pero todo eso se tiene que aprender si en verdad quiere pronunciar bien todo, ¿verdad? Entonces, quizá la primera pregunta es, ¿qué entendimos? ¿Qué entendimos del video? Nada. Todo. Sí, no mostraba o no me explicaba la forma correcta de pronunciar los modas. Muy bien. ¿Alguien más? La contracción que puede tener la palabra al unirse en una oración y que es importante que siempre se va a entender su significado. Very good, perfect. ¿Algún otro comentario? Ok, en fonética hay varias cosas como el schwa, eso no se les enseñamos como les digo porque es algo bien avanzado, ¿verdad? Es como si enseñáramos fonética les tuviera que corregir la pronunciación perfecta. Eh, y eso pues, lo que nos interesa es hablar, ¿verdad? Ir a pedir donas en coffee allá a Nueva York cuando vayamos. Entonces, entendernos es lo que nos interesa, pero sí hay una manera correcta y si ustedes se fijan, ella menciona cómo se utiliza, cómo se pone la lengua, cómo se ponen los labios, de dónde viene el sonido. Eso es fonética. Entonces, eh, si alguien quiere aprender cómo se pronuncia cierta palabra, ciertas oraciones, cómo se usan. Por ejemplo, ella estaba explicando de que a veces los sonidos se unen y que uno las dice ahí en inglés, ellos lo dicen, ¿verdad? Y no, no se pone atención de que se unen los sonidos, ya están acostumbrados. Es normal. Recordemos que este es inglés americano, ¿verdad? Los británicos, no, ellos pronuncian diferente. Should, should, así. Entonces, a mí me gusta enseñar así como, como, como británico un poco más. Si ustedes se fijan, salgo solo muchas cosas eh, de lectura británica. Son bien nice. Pero sí, es el, el, el inglés americano es diferente. Ellos acortan muchas cosas, dicen muchas cosas de otras maneras. Um, y eso es parte de fonética. Si ustedes quieren aprender más... Visiten mi canal en YouTube. No, mentira. Pueden ver ahí en YouTube muchos videos, ¿verdad? Muchas cosas de estas situaciones, de cómo se pronuncia en verdad algo. Y ahí pueden ver entonces cómo mejorar su pronunciación. Ahora, sí es bien importante corregirnos a veces como las palabras que yo les decía ahora. ¿verdad? Interesting. Si ustedes dicen interesting, no le van a entender. El gringo se va a quedar, ¿qué dijo? ¿Cómo? So that is important. Interesting is interesting wherever you go. Um, ahora, should. No explico qué es should. ¿Qué es should? Ajá. Solo explicó la pronunciación, la verdad. Pero should, ¿qué es eso? ¿Con qué se come? Nadie. Un punto extra en el examen. Ah, sí, no hacemos examen. Ok, so, should es debería. Es otro modal. Debería estudiar inglés. Should I study English? Debería ir al parque. Should I go to the park? Debería ir a la fiesta. Should you go to the party? Ok, debería. Eso sería como para recomendar, sugerir. Algo, ¿verdad? Para dar consejos. Tú deberías ir al doctor. You should go to the doctor. You shouldn't do this. You should do the other thing. So that is should. ¿Ok? Deberías. Igual que los otros modos, se ocupa igual en el aspecto en el que no hay terceras personas. La posición es igual. Pero se transforma al verbo. ¿verdad? Debería hacer, que ya no es haría, que ya no es podría hacer, que ya no es puede hacer. Los modals son importantes para expresar ideas. Entonces, ese modal, should, es debería. Deberían preguntar si tienen dudas. Questions we should. Mm -hmm. No questions. ¿Será que les pregunto y me dicen? A ver, 
Maribel me dijo que todo este día ella quería ser la primera en todo, me dijo, yo quiero iniciar. <risa> no, vamos a iniciar con Maribel entonces. A ver, dígame una oración con should. A ver cómo la hace. I should go to sleep. <risa> Ok, me too. <laughs> We all should go to sleep. Ok, very good. A ver, Daniela me dijo que quería hacer una negativa. ¿Cómo sería una negativa, Daniela? ¿Cómo cree usted que sería? La gente está pensando, está, va a poner una difícil para ver si la entienden, dice. Ajá, Daniela. Si se equivoca, no pasa nada. Ver, aquí corregimos. No worries. Usted lance. No, Creí que decía que Daniel, que teacher. No, Daniela. <risa> ok. Um, negativa, ¿verdad? Negativa con should. Okay. I shouldn't. Uh, eat. I shouldn't eat. Very good, perfect. Ya ven, si ustedes se pueden una regla con un modal, por ejemplo, todo lo demás es pan comido. So, una negativa es should not, shouldn't. She shouldn't eat, por ejemplo. Very good, perfect. Ahora una pregunta. ¿Quién me dijo que la quería hacer la pregunta? A ver, le vamos a preguntar. Tim Marín, el Open Web, Mini, Mini, Mo. Él sino de mí. Pregunte, pregunte. En inglés. I should. Ahí tengo que usar el auxiliar, ¿verdad? Antes. ¿Y cuál es el auxiliar? A ver. Um, do, si me refiero a primera persona. No, pues no, pues aquí no hay do ni das, no es presente simple. Ah, ok. A ver. Entonces, I should um, study in English. I should study English. A ver, pero si es pregunta, ¿cómo debería de ser? Ajá. Ay, es que no sé. No, José, no, usted. Ay, no. <risa> A ver, Karen Michelle le va a ayudar. Ella quería esta, pero pues. A okay. ver, Michelle. No, se había activado. ¿El pero qué? Okay. Uh, se me había activado por error. No se preocupe que le escuchamos. Um, siempre cuello. Pregunta, please, para ver cómo queda, porque el seno de mí se quedó con la duda de cómo es esa en pregunta. Entonces, um, sería: Should I take a shower? Should I take a shower? Very good, perfect. Entonces, el seno de mí primero va, sí, el auxiliar, pero el auxiliar aquí okay. es el modal, o sea que should va primero. Ok, okay. should perfect. va primero. Bueno, la siguiente es bono extra. Esa me dijo Daniel Sarabia que él quería, porque iba a representar al, a los masculinos. A ver, usted va a hacer una WH question, una information question con Shul. Let me see. Of course. What should study? So, le faltó el sujeto. What should you study? What should you study? Very good. Perfect. Ya ven. O sea, la estructura es idéntica. Si nos aprendemos uno, nos aprendemos todos. Solo que tenemos que saber qué significa uno o el otro para saber cómo se utiliza. 
That's the only thing. El inglés es mucho más fácil que el español. Mucho más fácil. Nosotros porque ya hablamos español, ¿verdad? Pero it's very, very easy. Ahora, yo sé que sí tiene sus complejidades y cosas ahí, ¿verdad? Que nosotros tenemos que ir aprendiendo como los sonidos de la TH y todo eso, ¿verdad? Pero ya estamos practicando para eso. Do you have any question with should, will, may, can, could? No questions. No question. Bueno, no vamos question. a pasar lista entonces. Y después tenemos pendiente una lectura del librito. Vamos a continuar con esa. Let's see. Ahora ve la parada, hágame eso. Present teacher. Good. Carlos Jaime Pinto Tobar. Present. Good. Daniel Freddy Sarabia Campos. Present. Good. Daniela Elizabeth Ardón de Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Danilo Ernesto Rod Rodríguez Fernández. A saber dónde andaron. Doris Raquel Hernández González. Good. El Noemí Alemán Gómez. Present teacher. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Juárez. Present teacher. Good. Irving Alexander Díaz Rivera. Present. Good. Irving Osmín Rodríguez Jurado. Present teacher. Good. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Present teacher. Good. Karen Michelle Ayala Ayala. Present teacher. Good. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Present teacher. Good. Metsi Damaris Molina Guevara. Present teacher. Good. Oscar Antonio Alvarado Martínez. Rafael Vladimir Romero Mancía. Present. Good. Santos Maribel Aquino Iraeta. Present. Good. Ulises Edgardo Jacobo Villanueva. Verónica Susana Romero Lebrón. Present. Good. Jessica Marisol Villalta Palacios. Present. Very good. Okay, so now we are going to continue with the reading in the book. Uh, ayer estábamos hablando de los printing y estábamos, lo, lo vimos, pero no lo leímos, ¿verdad? Tiene palabras interesantes para practicar. So, we are going to, to check into that. Okay, here we go. Lo voy a leer yo primero para recordar la pronunciación y luego adivinen quién va a leer primero. Exacto, Maribel. Entonces, vamos. I can't, Chef. I am going to buy bread. <laughs> ok, that is a good one. I liked it. <laughs> vamos a, hoy no vamos a repetir, solo voy a leer yo porque ya lo repetimos una vez. Vean la pronunciation, please. Color. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentations or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink. That need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution, printer resolution, the sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch, DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Speed, if you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. That can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables 
with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Fácil. Very easy. Recordemos que está la palabra, lo importante aquí es sheets, ¿verdad? No me van a decir otra cosa que se va a oír raro. Ok, vamos a leer dos y dos. La primera persona, o sea, Maribel va a leer color and resolution. Y la segunda persona va a leer speed and memory. Ok, Maribel, la escuchamos. El micrófono es suyo. Okay. Color. Color is important for user who need to print pages for presentation or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use to ink cards Trees. Cartridges. Cartridges. One color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. User who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate resolution resolution the sharp, sharpness of text and images images on paper is usually measured and that's per inch dpi most inexpensive printer provide sufficient Resolution for a mass purpose at 600 dpi. Very good. Veronica is la siguiente. Thank you, Maribel. Okay, teacher. Speed. I feel I I do the most printing the speed of the printer printer become important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six cheaper per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printing and the most faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expand, expanded by the user. By the user. By the user, sorry. Having more than the minimum, minimum, minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing a page with less Imagine or table tables with lines around them, which the print trees are the large image. Very good, perfect. Now, let's see. Hi, teacher. Hello, le toca leer color and resolution. Todo lo tenemos que leer, perdón. ¿Cómo? Ay, ay, ay. Dicha. Hello. Anuncios comerciales. <coughs> Puede Metsi, está ocupada. Hi, teacher. Hi. Ok. Eh, todo desde donde dice color. Desde color serían los dos párrafos, los dos primeros. Ok. Sería. Color is important for user, users who, who need to print 
to print, page for presentation, or maps, and other page where color is part on the information of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use to ink card cartridge cartridges. One color and one black ink that need to be re replay replaced replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of page will find a black and white printer cheaper they operate. Resolution. Printer resolution. The sharpness of text and image on paper is usually measured. 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 Come? Measured. Measured in dots per inch DPA. DPI. Mass in DPI. Mass inex inexpensive printers provide su 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 no sé cómo se pronuncia. sufficient no. sufficient resolution for most purpose at purposes at I don't know who is the number. Six hundred. Six hundred DPA. DPI. 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 Okay, perfect, okay. thank you. Okay. Now, uh, Guadalupe. Ajá, teacher. ¿Qué tal, cómo está? Bien. Ya comió. <laughs> yes, teacher. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Le toca speed and memory, please. Okay. It's you. Too much printing, they fix all the printer on the printer become important. And in expertise, printed prints only about three to six sheet per pet medium. Color printing is lower, more expressive. Printers are much faster. Memory. Most most princes come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabit megabits. Megabyte. Megabytes that can be asked by the user having more than the minimum amount of memory. Is helpful. Is faster when printing out pages which pages pages which large image, images images or table which lie around they which the printing treats as a large Image, image, image. Very good, perfect. Now, Jessica Marisol. Hello, Marisol. Ahí le traen una canasta navideña, no la va a querer. Bueno, creo que no la quiere. Okay, Daniel Freddy Sarabia. Color. Color is important for users who need to print page for presentation or map. And other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can as as 
is also. set also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink car cartridges, one color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of space. User who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution, printer resolution, the shapeness of text and imaging of, on paper in usually measured in dots per inch, DPI, most inexpensive printers provide sufficient, provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Very good, perfect. Now, Elsie, no, I mean. Okay, teacher. Um, speed. Speed is do the most printing. See, speed of the printer becomes import in expense. Printers print only about um, three to six sheets per minute color printing. Lower, more expensive printer are much faster. Memory, most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Any more than the unit amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out page with large Im images or tab tablets with lin lines around lines. lines around the western printer trees as large image. Very good, perfect. Now Arabella. Okay. <clears throat> color. Color is important for user who need to print their page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color Printers are more expensive to operate signs. They use two ink cartridges. Carriages. Carriages, carriages. One color in one, one colors and one black ink. That need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. operate. A resolution. Printer resolution is sharp of text and image of paper. Is usually measured in those per inch. Most in inexpensive printer provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at a sixty hundred under six hundred six hundred DPI. Okay, very good. Now, Daniela. 
Speed. Speed. If you too much printing, the speed of the printing becomes important. Inexpensive printing prints only about three to six ticks per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printings are much faster. Memory. Most printing come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or table with lines around them, which the printing treat as a large image. Very good, perfect. Now, Carlos Pinto. Good, color. Color is important for user who needs to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of the information. Color printers can also, also, also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink does need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution, printing resolution, the sharpness of text and images or paper is usually measured in dots per inch in DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. Very good, perfect. Now, Karen Michelle. Hi, teacher. Hello. Mm -hmm. Speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer because becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute, minute color printing print in a slower, more expensive printers are much faster. Memory, months, print, printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. Tags can be ex expanded be the user having more tag the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing a page, page with large images or tables with lines around them with the printer strips as a large image. Very good, image. perfect. Okay, now uh, let's see. Mario Alfredo. Color teacher. Yes, please, and resolution. Okay, color. Color is important for users who need to print page for presentation or maps and other page where color is part of their information. Color printers can also be said to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two in 
cartridge. One color and one black ink that need to be replaced after a certain number of page. User who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of page will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Printer resolution, the sharpen of the next and images on paper, is usually measured in dots per each DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purpose at 600 DPI. Good, perfect. Now, Oscar. Hello, Tisha. Hello. Um, memory. I know, speed and memory, let us. Speed, if you much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printer bring only about three to six shirts per minute. Color printing in shower. More expensive printer are most faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expand, expanded expanding by the user having having more than the minute the amount of memory is helpful and faster when peering out page which layer images or table with lying around ten with the printer te treats as a large image. Okay, very good. Now Irving Alexander. Hello Irving Alexander, are you here? Not here, okay. Rafael, entonces. Okay, teach. Col color resolu resolution. Right? Yes, please. Okay. Color is important for users who need to print pages for presentation or maps and other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black or white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since the use, use to in carry one color and one black in that net need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. User who don't have a specific need for color and who bring a lot a lot of pages will find, find. a black on right. Find a black on right printer ship cheaper to operate resolution resolution printers resolution the sharpness of text and images or paper is usually measured in dot per each dpi 
most inexpensive printers provide suffi sufficient resolution for most purpose at 600 dpi. Very good, perfect. Now, Veronica. Ya pasó, teacher. Vaya, pues entonces vamos a ver si hay alguien más. No, no, sí, ya pasó, está bien. Yo me acuerdo oh. que a uh, Juan va manejando. Creo que los demás ya pasamos, ¿verdad? Uh, Rachel. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Ahora sí, creo que no falta nadie. Nice, very good. Um, any question about this reading? ¿Alguna pregunta, duda? No questions. That is very good. Este ejercicio ya lo hicimos. So we're going to move on. Uh, tech support. It says I will be able to fill out a complaint form. Mm, interesting. A ver, ¿qué será complaint? Anybody knows? Complaint. No es completar. Eh, no, es es complement. Complaint es quejarse. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, fill out. Esa es otra pregunta. ¿Qué es fill out? Fill out. Mm -hmm. Busque la forma de quejarse. Sí. Llenar. Llenar, very good. Y entonces, ¿qué es form? Full o fill. No, form, la última palabra ahí. Fill form. out a complaint form. Como la pantalla, la form. Ah, por ahí le dijeron formulario. formulario. Muy bien. Entonces, ah, llenar un formulario de quejas, ¿verdad? That will be it. Uh, number one says, let's start. Do you ever complain about the broken items that your workplace, Rachel? <laughs> no, no, coma, no tenga pena. Después le pregunto. <laughs> Provecho. <laughs> no, vale, la vamos a dejar comer. Relax, relax. Don't do it. Bueno, la vamos a preguntar a Mario. Uh, do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace, Mario? No, I never do. We never do. Uh, los salvadoreños decimos lo arreglo yo, ¿verdad? So, eh, véase que la palabra aquí al principio dice fill out a complaint, con T. Y en el número dice, el número uno dice, do you ever complain, sin T. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? No me voy a decir la T, ¿verdad? Porque eso ya lo dije. <risa> Okay, el, tiempo, la, el tiempo una la dije ayer y otra más después no <risa> complaint con T es nombre una forma de quejas de, que, de quejas y complain sin T es verbo mm, okay. esa es la diferencia very good uh, broken items items ¿qué es un item un registro. No. Un item es algo. Un ítem decimos nosotros en español, ¿verdad? Item. Entonces, es algo. Mm. Algo que no sabemos qué es, pues algo que existe, ¿verdad? Items. Um, 
at your workplace? Do you ever feel complaint forms? Sí, yo creo que aquí en El Salvador no, ya, no llenamos, pero sea, aunque la llenemos, no hay respuesta. Vamos a repetir the conversation. So, hoy, hoy hay mucha práctica. That's very good. Everybody, please repeat. Thank you for calling the IT department. Thank you for calling, you for calling the, for calling the, the IT, IT department. The IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. And I need to file a complaint. And I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. About my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday. It was very slow yesterday. And it didn't turn on today. And it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone. Let me send someone with a complaint form. With a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. We can, we can send a new, a new computer in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. You are welcome. You are welcome. Good, perfect. Veamos vocabulary y expresiones. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. Esa Maria Ochoa se le arruinan mucho las cosas, ¿verdad? No sé qué onda, hay que investigar. So, about, well, say, and I need to file a complaint. ¿Qué es file a complaint? Uh, 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 file a complaint. Uh, file es archivo, pero aquí no es archivo, sino que es un verbo. Es como ingresar una queja. Algo así viene significando. File a complaint. File a complaint, yeah. About my work terminal computer. Hoy ya se le arruinó la computadora, ya arruinó el printer. No, María Ocho. This is not good. I'm sorry to hear that. Ahí que dice. Lamento escuchar eso. Sí, verdad. Eso es como am amabilidad. Siempre esa gente, aunque no sea culpa de ellos, siempre dice, I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday. ¿Qué era slow? Lenta. Lenta. And it didn't turn on today. ¿Qué era turn on? No enciende hoy. O sea, que ayer estaba lenta y hoy no encendió. A saber qué virus le puso. No sabemos. Let me send someone with a complaint form. Creo que ahí se entiende, ¿verdad? Someone. Recordemos la pronunciación es someone. someone. We can send a new computer in no time. ¿Qué dice ahí? Y no puede enviar una nueva computadora. Podemos enviarle es que no hay... una nueva computadora a la ya. Algo así. Very good. No existe una traducción de, a eso de in no time. In no time quiere decir, ahorita yo voy saliendo para allá con una nueva computadora. Igualito que aquí en El Salvador, ¿verdad? Reportamos y el jefe dice, aquí te cambio la computadora, no te preocupes. So, that is it. Okay. We can send a new computer in no time. O sea, ahorita mismo. Thank you y you are welcome. ¿Qué era you are welcome? De nada. De nada. De nada. Very good. De nada. You are welcome. Okay. Do you have any questions about this conversation? No questions. Adivinen quién quiere empezar. Yo. <laughs> Maribel en, y yo dijeron. ¿Quién dijo yo? <laughs> Ulises. Sí. Vaya, vale, entonces Maribel y Ulises. Very good. Thank you for calling the IT department. IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday. And it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new comp computer in time. 
Thank you. You are welcome. Very good, perfect. Now, Arabella and Guadalupe. Thank you, Chef. Okay. I'm star. Uh, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to fill file. Complaint, file complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry for, I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it is in, didn't. It didn't turn on today. On today. Let me send someone with a compliant form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good. Perfect. Now, Mario and Rachel. Ya comió Rachel. Ya no le interrumpo. Ya, ya está. Good. Provecho. Okay, I'm Mike. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint, complaint about my work terminal computer. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe me the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can say a new computer in no time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Elsie, Noemi, and Daniel Sarabia. Okay, Hi, Daniel. Hi, it's Okay, thank you for calling the IT department. IT department. Hello. IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Describe the problem. Describe. It was very slow yesterday. And it didn't, didn't turn on today. Let me send some with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Carlos Pinto and Daniela. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it tore out today. Let me send someone with a, with a complaint for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Perfect. Thank you. Juan, será que se puede? Yo vi que andaba caminando por ahí, pero no se puede. Yes, teacher. Yes. Eso me llega. Entonces, Juan. <laughs> Y le va a ayudar Metsi. Está por aquí Metsi. I'm here, teacher. Good. Entonces con Juan le toca. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Turn on, on today. Let me send Samuel, Samuel 
someone. With someone. With a complex for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Very good, perfect. Now, Jessica Marisol, hello. Hello. No, creo que hello, no. Teacher. Ah, va, vale. entonces le toca a usted con Oscar Alvarado. Ok. Thank you. Thank you for calling Tel IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Chua. I am new to spy or comply about my work terminal computer. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that, please describe the problem it was very tall just that just that just that just that i i it thing to on today let me send someone why a complaining for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Irving Alexander, Saborga. Yo creo que no. Uh, Rafael. Y Verónica. Good. Hello, Verónica. Inicio. Okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. And I need to file and complain about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone which I complain for. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Very good, perfect. Uh, you pensaría que no falta nadie, verdad? Oh, sí. Okay. So. Please be careful with some words. Hay que tener cuidado con la pronunciación de department. No es departamento. Eso es español. Department. Please be careful on that one. Department. Uh, file a complaint. Uh, describe. Eso se dice describe. Uh, didn't turn on. Didn't. Uh, la pronunciación de ese es didn't. Saben ustedes que es de ese, ¿verdad? Didn't. Hello, alguien? No enciende. Es el pasado. Ok, el pasado de do, ¿verdad? O sea, auxiliar, pero en pasado. Aún no hemos llegado ahí, pero ya lo conocían. Uh, let's see, computer phone, computer in no time. Creo que lo demás estuvo bien. Very good, perfect. Let's do the exercise below. It says, uh, what expressions does Mike use to show a solution in progress? Uh -huh. Anybody? What expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? We can send a new computer. We can time. send a new computer in no time. Very good, perfect. What seems to be the problem with the computer? It was very slow. It was very slow. And today? It didn't turn off. Okay. It didn't it turn off. Very good, perfect. So that was the problem. Uh, we're not gonna do this. Y aquí tenemos una complaint form para que tengan una idea de cómo 
debería de ser. Vamos a leer para ver el vocabulario. Everybody, please. Uh, fill in the following complaint form. Fill in the following complaint form. Fill in the following complaint form. Complaint form. Complaint form. Complaint form. Name of complainant. Name of complainant. 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 Date. Date. Home phone number. Home phone number. Work phone number. Work phone number. Fax number. Fax number. Fax number. Street address. Street address. 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 City. 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 Email address. Email address. Complaint information. Complaint information. information. Describe the nature of the complaint. Identify the equipment. Identity. In question and the problem. Ok, very good. Creo que la mayoría de cosas aquí se entiende. Name of complainant. ¿Qué es complainant? Completo. No, no, no. Nombre. Queja. Quejista. No sé cómo sería ahí. El que reporta. Del que se está quejando, ¿verdad? El que se quiere quejar. Algo así. Del quejante. Del que, del quejumbroso, no sé la, la palabra. Porque alguien que es humbroso es alguien que se queja mucho, así como que, ay, no, ¿verdad? En cambio, aquí es una queja diferente. I don't know. Nombre del que reclama. Ah, por ahí, ¿verdad? Good. So, date, home phone number, work phone number, fax number, street address, city, email address. Creo que no hay problema. Uh, luego dice complaint information, describe the nature. La palabra se dice nature. Okay. Of the complaint. Identify. La pronunciación es identify. 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 Y la otra es equipment. Equipment. Very good. Equipment. Very good. Y lo demás es como para llenarlo. Ah, y hay más, miren. Mm -hmm. Signature, ¿qué era signature? Firma. La firma, ¿verdad? Echese. Firma. Very good. Esto, pues, no lo vamos a hacer. Ok. Eh, no, esta la vamos a hacer mañana. No, mañana no, ¿verdad? Es sábado. La vamos a hacer Monday, que es casi lo último. Pero para mientras vamos a echarnos una platicada. So we are going to practice a little bit the speaking. Esperaría yo terminar el, la, el próximo lunes y a, a hacer muchas más prácticas. La última clase sería mucho de práctica, de hablar, de tratar de usar lo que nos recordamos de todo el módulo. Entonces, ahorita vamos a hacer una pequeña práctica con un par de personas. Maribel dice que ya no quiere ser la primera. Así que vamos a preguntar, ¿Quién? Who wants to be a volunteer? Alguien para hablar un rato en inglés. No Spanish, please. I don't speak Spanish anymore. A volunteer? May I, teacher? Of course, let's do it. Hello, okay. Alfredo. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm a little sleepy. Me too. I'm very tired, but today is Friday, so. Yes, today is Friday. We have the weekend to to sleep a little bit more and also to do yes. other things. What time do you usually wake up on Sundays? On Sundays, I wake up at 7. At 7? That's kind of early. Good. Uh, it's because you go to the church, to Mass? Uh, no, I go to the Holy Mass on Saturdays. Ah, Saturdays in the evening. Yes, because on Saturdays I have Holy Mass in my community. Okay, that is good. That's good enough. And, and on what... Sunday I rest, I wash my clothes, and I help to my parents in my home. Okay, that is very good. 
So there in your house where you live is where you have all um, all the cattle, all the animals. Yes, here in my house. Okay, that is good, interesting. So I believe that is a, you have a, a lot of uh, countryside there, a lot of space. Yes, we have a lot of space in front of my house. That's very good. And is it usually hot there? Uh, not much, really. So no, do you have... It's, it's, a, a, it's a good weather. And, and so do you have a lot of trees there? Trees? Yes, yes. We have a lot of trees. And those, uh, do you have fruit trees or anything like yes, that? Yes, of course. We try to, I don't know how to say sembra. <laughs> to plant. Uh, yes, we try to plant some uh, fruit tree. Which one do you have? Um, let me see. Lemon, uh, mangoes, guanaba. I don't know how to say. That, that is guanaba, yeah. That is good. Huh? An Anona. In my. Manion. Wow. Avocado. Um, I don't know what's more pitos. You know what is pitos? I know what is that. Bueno, ya vieron para dónde vamos a hacer la excursión, ¿verdad? Yeah. <laughs> Good. So you have a lot of bananas. Imagine. Híjole. I don't know what's more. <laughs> <laughs> that is very good. It, it seems that it's a very nice place. Yes, I I think so. Uh, I don't have neighbors. I don't know what is that. In mind, that is fantastic. No noise. So you are no, <laughs> no problems with no one. Very good. Very, very good. Perfect. Thank you, Alfredo. Thank you too, teacher. Very good. A ver, alguien más que quiera. Yo sé que quieren, díganme. Es su penúltima clase, si no practica ahora y el lunes. No practice anymore. Bueno, Arabella, you. <ríe> Esta es la platicada con a saber quién hay. Ok, let's see. Um, ajá. Oscar Alvarado. Hello, Oscar. Are you there? I don't think so. Okay, let's see Rafael. Hello, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm very well. Okay, um, tell me, um, do you have brothers or sisters? Um, one brother and one sister. Okay, and are you the first, the second, the third? Um, and sister, um, second. Ah, you're the second, um, okay. Very good. Um, and uh, do you live with your brothers and sister with that family? Repeat, please. Do you live with your brother and sister? Uh, yes. Okay, very good. That's nice. So you live together. And uh, do you... Uh, do you have a, a good relationship with your brother and sister? Uh, could you please? Do you have a very good relationship with your brother and sister? Very good. Nice, that is fun. Okay. 
And uh, how old is your sister? How old? Um, no. <laughs> how old? How old is your sister? How old? Uh, no no okay don't worry uh, where do you live um sacate coluca ah okay is it hot there in sacate coluca it's very hot <laughs> in Maya, that's not good okay and, uh, okay, that is it. Thank you, Rafael. Okay. Haremos uno yeah, más. <laughs> Perfect. A ver, Daniel, Freddy, Saladia. Hi, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm a little tired. Yeah, but it's Friday. Do you work tomorrow? Sorry? Do you work on Saturdays? No. I don't work. That is very good. What do you usually do in your free time? Um, pay my car credit. Um, sleep. Um, watch TV. Okay, that is very good. Uh, do you do you watch a lot of TV? Sometimes. Okay. Uh, what do you usually watch? Uh, maybe the sport. Sports. Oh, that's yes. good. Uh, soccer and things like that. Soccer and uh, basketball. Yeah, I remember um, that you like basketball. <laughs> uh, but you don't play basketball? I remember that you said you play, right? Uh, usually, maybe. Okay. Very good, perfect. And uh, who do you live with? With my father, mother, with my sister, uh, cousin. Okay, that is good. So it's a, a nice family. And do yes. you have do you have any pets? Yes. What do you have? I have one duck. That's good. And what's his name? Is is the name Toreto. Ah, okay. It's very <laughs> fast. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. But it's not furious or it's furious. It's furious. Okay. It's furious. <laughs> okay. Ah, it's a big dog. See, yes. Okay, very good. Perfect. Thank you, Daniel. Ok. Ok, my friends. Aquí terminamos la clase de ahora. Por supuesto, vamos a pasar lista. Solo un par de recordatorios. No hay que hacer la encuesta de verdad. No, la vayan a hacer todavía. El lunes los toca. La otra, el otro recordatorio es hay que hacer los, las tareas que faltan, todas las que le faltan y el examen final también. Please don't forget that. Antes de la clase del lunes hay que hacerlo. Ahora le toca el one on one al compañero que, que nunca conocimos, ¿verdad? No sabemos dónde andará, andará en la playa, andará en metro. Danilo Ernesto, pero como no está y no, no existe para nosotros, nunca lo conocimos. Bueno, no sé si ustedes lo conocieron. Eh, la pregunta es, ¿quién se quiere quedar en el one on one? Si tienen preguntas, dudas o quieren practicar, ¿alguien? ¿Somebody? Anybody? Yeah. Move your back. No, en serio, nadie. ¿Cómo hacemos? Entonces no vamos a quedar hasta la 10 y 10, porque hasta esa hora me tengo que quedar. May I, teacher? Good, perfect, Alfredo. Nice. Ahora sí vamos a pasar lista, my friends. And we are going to check. Ahora ve la parada, Gamis. Presente, presente, teacher. Ok. Carlos Jaime Pinto Tobar. I'm here. Good. 
Daniel Freddy Sarabia Campos. Present. Good. Daniela Elizabeth Ardón de Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Danilo Ernesto Rodríguez Fernández. No, verdad. Doris Raquel Hernández González. Present. Good. Elsie Noemí Alemán Gómez. Present teacher. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Juárez. Present teacher. Good. Irving Alexander Díaz Rivera. Present. Good. Irving Osmín Rodríguez Jurado. Juan Francisco López Marroquín. Karen Present Michelle. Teacher. Good. Karen Michelle Ayala Ayala. Mario Alfredo Tejada Maldonado. Metzi Damari. Good. Metzi Damaris Molina Guevara. Present Oscar, teacher. Good. Oscar Antonio Alvarado Martínez. Present. Good. Rafael Vladimir Romero Mancía. Present. Good. Santos Maribel Aquino Iraeta. Present. Good. Ulises Edgardo Jacobo Villanueva. Present teacher. Good. Verónica Susana Romero Lebrón. Present teacher. Good. Jessica Marisol Villalta Palacios. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be here with you. See you next Monday. That is our last class. And have a very, very beautiful weekend. See you around. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Okay, hello, Alfred, how are you? Hello, teacher. <laughs> Last night I slept during the class. Really, you were very tired. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes I'm very, very tired, but the thing is that I can't sleep, right? <laughs> <laughs> you can't because you are the teacher. <laughs> yeah, it's like the like the jog, right? They say I don't want to go to school, but you're the uh -huh. teacher. You have to go. <laughs> Something like that. Good. Um, okay, so before um, we move on, do you have any question? Anything that you need to clarify? Mm, sí, fíjese que en la canción que mandé ahora en el grupo mm -hmm. hay como una contracción que está el apóstrofe y está em. M, M, ajá. ajá. Sí. ¿Qué es eso? A ellos. Es, es la contracción de them. De them. them. Ajá. Them. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Si sí, no, nunca lo había visto. Hasta, hasta ver. Sí, lo que pasa es que hay muchas. Es una cuestión de los, más que todo de los americanos, de los gringos, que ellos unen muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, y uh -huh. e incluso, y se me ha olvidado enseñarles eso, eh, hay palabras que son tan. Eh, informales que no están ni en los libros por ejemplo ain't no sé si alguna vez ha visto ain't que es a i n apóstrofe t ain't en sí le he visto ajá que dice she ain't good por ejemplo entonces eso es como el verbo to be she isn't uh -huh. pero es totalmente informal entonces <risa> Es, esas cosas no, no salen en los libros, ¿verdad? Pero sí, sí. es de aprendérselas porque de repente... Sí, y contractan mucho. Por ejemplo, esa canción tiene muchísimas contracciones y en la letra y en la pronunciación también. El tipo la, la canta así, bien, bien contractada, pero un poco difícil se oye. Sí, la verdad es que esos, los sueños más que todo en Estados Unidos son los que hablan bastante así, bastante unido. Pero lo bueno... Eh, bueno, yo le comento, no sé si les he comentado a los demás compañeros, pero yo aprendí inglés con la música, yo nunca fui a clases. Entonces, ah, sí. ajá, ese es un buen ejercicio, yo lo recomiendo. No todos aprendemos igual, ¿verdad? Pero a mí me funcionó, me gustaba desde, desde pequeño la música y las traducía y las cantaba y de repente ya hablaba inglés. So, 
it's a very good thing. That is a very yes. good exercise. I, I am I am listening English music in the last days, uh, and I put the letter in YouTube, mm -hmm. and I try to reading and and sing and get what what the, the letters means, and I don't search what means that in Spanish. That is the way it is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I try to to get. Uh, sometimes I don't understand everything, but yeah. I don't. I don't worry for that. Yeah, that is that is true. I mean, you don't have to worry. And in the lyrics, if you look for a word in English, in an mm -hmm. English dictionary or anything like that, it would be good. Good. That is nice. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Tiene alguna otra pregunta, duda? No more question. Okay, so Alfred, it was a pleasure to be here with you. Have a good night, a nice weekend, and see you on Monday. See you on Monday, teacher. Have a good night. So do you. Bye-bye.